Welcome back to another one of Nathan Bell's commentary videos, the Centurion series. We're heading up towards 100. Today, Nathan Bell wanted to respond to a recent video he saw from scientist Brian Cox about life in our galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Brian Cox has come out recently expressing the view that he knows some experts who are working off some studies and some statistics that they've done in their science that suggest that not only are we the only um, advanced um, uh, technological species in the galaxy, but we're the only advanced technological species there has ever been in this galaxy. Now, he says this is just his best guess at the moment, and he made it clear this was his best guess, and it was based off some views of some of his colleagues who are obviously all experts in this subject. Um, now, I want to point out, Brian Cox has said numerous other things about the potential for advanced alien species in the galaxy. He has said in a video I saw, he said quite clearly, if a UFO turned up tomorrow, I wouldn't be surprised. And he said that because he said the time that the galaxy has existed is so long and that the universe has existed for so long, it would be surprising if there wasn't an abundance of technologically advanced life because there's been so much time and there are so many planets. Um, but I just want to say I'd be very... I, I, I'm a bit disappointed in this view. I know, like, like I said, Brian Cox is open-minded about the existence of advanced alien species as well, and he also said he'd really like to be proven wrong. He made doubt like he'd prefer to be proven wrong. Uh, but I'd find it really depressing if we were the only life in this galaxy that has ever existed. And, and you know, I'm not an expert from my, but from my speculation and my own reasoning, I think, I, I find that unlikely. I think there will be an abundance of life in the universe. But I read a study um, about six months ago that speculated based off new information collected by the the, uh, the Planet Finder telescope and the current telescopes operating that are able to spot exoplanets. And, ba and the study said that based off how many exoplanets there are in the habitable zone, they did a probability calculation also using some other variables from some other research. And they calculated that there was a peak period in this galaxy in the Milky Way like a billion years ago uh, where there was... Um, all these uh, advanced civilizations, uh, and that they probably all self-destructed, and they say that the the galaxy is probably full of um, uh, uh, ruins of um, advanced alien civilizations and technological civilizations. So you know, obviously, uh, and that was a credible study. So obviously, there's a great difference of opinion, in, and it's all really speculative. There's some evidence that can be used to calculate probability but really it's all speculative but you know what I've come to realize more and more is Brian Cox seems to think that uh, advanced life is really rare and complex life is really rare and what you've got to realize is like you know you, you've really got to think about it because on this planet it was like microbes and and amoebas and small single-celled organisms for like a bit, like several billion years, or for a very very long time, I can't quote specific. I have to go and have read the quote specific times. But it was like a billion years of just single celled organisms, uh, and then it took like another billion years for that to evolve into fish and sea life, and then even longer for that to evolve into uh, land animals. Um, and what you got to realize is the universe is hostile. It's like you know a planet might get started in a solar system, and it might be rocking along for a few billion years and there might be life developing on it then there's an asteroid and all the life dies on the planet or the star explodes you know there's all this stuff that can go wrong that can prevent life from progressing because people don't realize the universe is an extremely hostile environment there's lots of dangerous things that threaten life that's why i always say it's just survival of the fittest because there are all these things that can knock out life before life gets the chance to um, get to the point where it has on this planet. So, you know, we've, we, we're, we're only here and we only exist in this form on this planet because uh, we managed to get away with it long enough that nothing went wrong to destroy life on this planet. Uh, and it's like you saw what happened to the dinosaurs. 
You know, they were in the middle of everything. They were in the middle of their lives. They were all over the planet. Then one rock, random rock out of space, kills them all, and everything has to start again. So you've got to realise, you know, there's nothing saying that a life, that the course of time will pass easy for life on a planet. Anything can happen. There can be asteroids, the star can blow up. There can be solar flares that kill all life on the planet. There can be terrible earthquakes. Planets can Things can go wrong, and the magnetic field on a planet can die. Um, you know, there's all these things that can go wrong. So, um, so you know, it is really, really hard for life to get started on a planet because it has to be a zone of clear time where there's no major impacts and no major problems that uh, destroy life on the planet so that it can last long enough to get to the point where we're at. So perhaps he's right and perhaps um, where, where the fluke maybe evolved life is super rare uh, and where the... Um, we're just the fluke uh, lucky people who got to get to this point. So, you know, so, yeah, just a short response to Brian Cox's view that we're probably the only advanced life in this galaxy. I find it depressing. I think Brian Cox would prefer that there were other advanced species. He said he'd like to be proven wrong. As I said, he said if, he, if a UFO turned up tomorrow, he wouldn't at all be surprised because... Because you would think there would be other advanced life. And this is what you don't, people don't realise. Guys like Brian Clark Cox, who are smart scientists, they know that you would think there would be life. You would think there would be advanced species and you would think there would be interstellar species because so much time has passed and the universe is so vast. So he'd like to be proven wrong and he wouldn't be surprised if a UFO turned up tomorrow and he'd be satisfied. So be open-minded about aliens and go and watch what Brian Cox has said and have a think about it. I find it a depressing view. I hope he is wrong. I hope there is an abundance of life uh, and there are various views in the field amongst aliens academics and experts in the field so drop a comment in the comment section about how you feel about what brian cox has said um, and and have a good day guys